In this video, we'll learn how you can create a drag and drop activity in a Nearpod lesson. First, we'll create a new lesson and click Add Content and Activities. Select the Activities tab and then click Drag and Drop. There are a few things you can set up as the teacher. First, you can add instructions or a question at the top of the slide. You can add a background to the slide by clicking on Add Background. You can have a blank background. You can upload an image of your own, or you can select from some of the pre-made images that Nearpod has for your background. Simply click on an image to add it to the background. If you're choosing to upload an image, you can do a Google image search, upload from your local computer, or choose from Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive to select an image. You can add additional information to the background of your slide using the tools on the bottom, the arrow, pen, text, and eraser tool. Once you have your background set, you'll want to add things for the students to drag and drop during the activity. Select what you would like the students to be able to drag and drop, images or text. Let's do images. I'll click on Add Image. I can do a Google image search or search from my computer, Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. Let's do a Google image search. Once you select the image, you can change the size, or if you don't like the image, you can trash it. Click on Done, and the image will be added over here on the left in the Drag and Drop Items section. You can repeat this step for as many objects as you want the students to be able to add. Once you've added all of your draggable images, you can save the slide by clicking on Save. Now let's look at an example where we'll use text as our draggable objects. This time, we'll add directions, we'll select a background, this time we're going to use text as our draggable objects. You'll have a space to type the text that you want the students to drag at the top of the screen. Type in the text and then click OK. You can choose the size. and then click Done to add it into the drag and drop items. Repeat this for all of the text you would like to add. Once you've added all of your drag and drop text items, click Save to save the activity. Make sure to title your lesson and then save it. That's how you can create a drag and drop activity for your Nearpod lessons. Happy learning!